Now, if this looks like a pretty heavy weight, it is. It weighs about a pound, and this is actually a pretty common jig that's used for bottom fish, and this includes the rock cod, ling cod, and halibut. Now, if you look here, there's a pretty big treble hook that's rigged inside, and then an imitation squid. And the way this is designed to be fished isn't with the hook on the bottom like this, because you catch the bottom a lot. You can see that there's a swivel right there. So you actually tie the line to the swivel, and the treble is free swinging. So the whole idea is to drop this down to the bottom. The reason it's one pound, when you're fishing in water that's two to three or even more, 100 feet deep, it's important to get your line as vertical as possible and to contact the bottom, because that's why they call them bottom fish. They're down pretty deep. So you literally touch the bottom and try to keep this weight within, let's say, five feet of the bottom and even closer, bumping the bottom. And when one of the target species, like the rockfish or lingcod or halibut comes by, he'll nail the actual squid. And it's also very common to put a chunk of fish on here, either a herring, a piece of mackerel, and so on. So this works really well. Now the jig that I also had success on today is a jig that's very popular, especially in warm oceans, for fish that swim very fast, like the mackerel, tuna family, jack family, and so on. And it's called a Williamson spoon, and this is it here. It's actually a vertical jigging spoon. You can see it's very thin. It's almost like a knife edge on one side, thicker on the other side, and it's very flat. It doesn't have a curvature. So this is designed to do one thing and drop really fast to the bottom. Sometimes it drops straight, sometimes it flutters like this on the way down, and sometimes it planes from side to side. Now you'll notice that the hook system is kind of unique on this particular spoon. You can see here that this is very heavy braid, and then there's two single hooks. And again, this jig as well is designed so that the hooks are up so that they don't get caught on the bottom. And you can see from all the paint coming off that this has been pounding the bottom. So sometimes when you're fishing for warm water species that are very aggressive, they'll hit this on the way up. So anglers use a, a technique called speed jigging where you're dropping the lure down and reeling it up as fast as you can. But here in British Columbia, you're jigging it up and down and the fish usually hits jigs like this on the way down. So